Ha-ha! Hell, hi, howdy, everyone. Mm, I'm eating breakfast. Mm. I'll give uh, folks a second or two to get in, because I wouldn't want anyone to miss the final battle, part two. Uh, we're all going to die, and I won't say boogaloo. It ruined her, that joke forever. I hate you. I hate you, Nazi people. Oh, anyway. I suppose you can say you hate Nazis. My grandfather fought Nazis, so, you know. Yeah, that's fair. All right, let's eat some breakfast. Give peeps a few minutes to pop in. And then we will conclude the final battle. Woo, citizen. He's the best devil you've ever seen. Citizen, see? Unfortunately, Communist Bean already has that tune. Citizen, you need a song. I need to find a Citizen song. Hmm. Anyway, good morning. We get to fight this battle again. Um, so I'm going to finish this burrito, and we'll see if JD Lady shows up or Roller. Because, uh, you know, we activated the, uh, uh, the Chrono Distortion, the Omega-13, as it were. I'm fucked. What's up, buddy? We're uh, we get to fight the main battle again and see if everyone will not die this time. So I'm um, I'm hopeful. Uh, now that I kind of know what's coming, it might be a little bit of an advantage, maybe. Oh, we can't even see the giant Magumpus yet. Oh man. I, I want, here's my goal. Roller, your Roller's goal is to get at least, at least one um, raider off this, this battle. I'm just like, Argh! boom, kick and explode everything. All right. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Meanwhile, in an alternate timeline, Poppergast will be the only one who dies this time. Yeah, try to keep the wizard alive, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> yeah, I... I He just got mauled. Because uh, there was too many of them and they could move too fast. So they just were like, meh, bunch. And I kind of stretched out thinking cover would cover them, but they were able to attack diagonal. I wasn't thinking about it. So, all right, I'm going to finish this. Ow. Save that other one as a victory burrito. A little melty cheese on the bottom of the plate. Mmm. Don't have any axes, I don't think. Nope. All right. Let's do this. Yeah, I don't remember who has shredding either. Uh oh. Ah. Uh, all right. Sorry guys, give me a sec. Oh, this is hard to do with this broken left paw. Ugh. What killed you last time was having five to six points of damage removed from every blow you took against them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But now I know that, uh, Attacks from from uh, shadow uh, are uh, shredding attacks. They ignore armor. So, all right. So I'm gonna try to put my assassins as far forward as I can. Mm. 
in the hope that they will be able to get some good shots off. And now I'm gonna move my, my, my thuggos first. to protect my wizard. Hurl Beast. Oh, I forgot about Hurl Beast. That's what killed the wizard last time. Okay, what also irked me last time is I couldn't shoot over that chasm that they could hurl a beast across. That, that, that was irksome. So let's go with... Puppergast. Mm -hmm. Puppergast. Shoot. And you want mm -hmm. to jump jaw. them. Okay. And shoot, but his armor will be there, right? So most likely it'll only do a couple points. <laughs> what do we got? JD lady. Woo! Wow. Thank you, JD. JD lady gets the Corgi award. <laughs> He has shred one though. Ah, that's what that shield thing is. Good, good. Okay, then he'll do that. Waha! Stunt plus two. All right, and then wizard infuse with the statue or with the lamp. Amplify the radiance of this light source to excruciating level blinding nearby enemies. Or statue and do the discus. Hmm. Splinter blast, okay. A stump, splinter blast. But I don't think it'll be able to reach him. Will it? Stone. Lamp has fire. This tree. Dead tree. Maybe that'll be close enough. Alright, let's try it. And then splinter blast. Nope, it can't get to it can't get to him. Fudge. Uh well, we'll know next time. We'll splinter blast all these guys, though. Can we get that raccoon? Can't quite, but we can get three of them. Okay, fine. Okay, and who are we on? We're on Roller. Uh, Roller's gonna raider this rock right here. I'd go for the tree. If you can't reach the main guy, it's at least AOE for the others. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna raider this into them. And.
Bliggity blam. Oof. That was bad. Okay, who's this? Who am I on? I'm still on roller. Uh. Yeah, dang it. Should we just push through? I mean, they're gonna shred us if we. Mm. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna try to protect the other three. And they're going to keep shooting at him, hopefully. So, I'm pretty sure I can take him out. And Shady Lady, let's go to here, stomp him, yes, and will she go to Guardian? Faux cards, okay, pinned, yes, oh, ow, oh, ow. Pumper Guest is back into sh shadows. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, dear! Jady Lady for the dodge. All right. Okay. All right. And the big guy's here. Uh, portal pupper. Yeah, I can't shadow thingy because I'm already shadow thingied. So I am going to shoot because I'm pinned, so I can't move. So, hello, Raven. Whoa, Ravens. Raven's Recroom? Ooh, neat. I like the name. I did get a haircut. Uh, one of them just wanted it. It was a really big, big, big one. Dad joke. There you go. Um, I'm an idiot. All right, shoot. All right, uh... Cone of fire will get my enemies. Uh, you know what? Silk step. I will silk step over here. And now, wizard unprotected. And infuse with the stump. And splinter blast. Splinter Blast. <sighs> Dang it. It can't hit him. Fudge. Uh... Oh, Raven's Knight. Uh, I should have remembered that. What's up, bud? Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I need to put my brace back on. Hold on. Hold on. I keep owie owieing my, my poor thumb. I thought I could get through this stream without it. Anyway. Yeah, I ripped up the tendons in my thumb here. Because I'm a big dummy. And that's what big dummies do. So, Raven's Knight, how you been, bud? Haven't seen you in a while. Hell, I haven't talked to... I'm fucked either. So, how are you guys? Uh, you know, wrapping your own is uh, a little bit of a pain in the arse. Alright, and then... Do the twist. 
through there. Not high enough, and then tighten the whole thing down. All right, sorry about that, guys. Okay. I cannot... <laughs> I can't splinter blast anyone. It's going to splinter blast my friends. Okay, let's not do that. Let's try a different infuse. Uh, yeah, I think so. Alright. Uh, can Roller move? Roller can move. Alright, so... Okay, let's see where Ro Rowan can get to. Uh, he can get all the way to here. Okay. He could get to here, but then they're gonna eat his face. Alright. Well, we're just gonna try to go for it. Um... What's this? Stone tentacles. Fudge. It's a lot of corrupted ground. Maybe I should just... Yeah, staying back will get you killed. Alright, so... We need to find a place off this corrupted ground. Oh, that puts him in a crazy, crazy spot to get eaten. I'm going to put him here and hope the warriors can back him up. Oh, my God. YOLO! <laughs> If he falls, he falls. You need the warriors to focus on the boss. Yeah. Alright, roller, get up there. Yep, alright, yep, we'll see. We'll see what happens. JD. This is JD, right? Yeah. How bad is that? Uh, I'm not dead yet. That's right. Uh, how much damage is she going to take standing in this corrupted ground? A point or two, I believe. Alright. Let's do it. And... Oh! Yeah, that's a dead wizard. Oh ho ho! JD! JD with the dodge! Pupper gas with the dodge. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh. Wizard's dead. Oh. Maybe a part of me could live on interfuse with staff. Okay. Any revenge is better than none. Throw staff, deal two damage to the Gorgon. Yeah, 
Janey Lady is done with this nonsense. She walks up with this super spear and is like, uh, like, Argh! and then he goes to hit her. She's like, nah, uh, paladin, paladin, far from home. All right, you're gonna maybe part of me could live on interviews with your staff. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Who pumped up Dodge kept him from getting locked down. I can't stay long. Oh, that's fine, Raven. We we fought this battle last week and then the, the, I had a total system crash mm -hmm. and ah uh, um Okay, uh Citizen, what is the maybe part of me could live on interfuse with the staff? Is that gonna? Is that mean it's like you know he will go on to the next thing, or is should I just take the two damage because this is the last uh, end of this chapter? I will drink coffee while I wait. Mm. Ah, okay, all right. Well, let's see. I'll take. I'll try the staff thing just because it sounds really cool, and I gotta. Eat my other paw for this. <clears throat> ah. I'm going to interfuse with the staff and see what happens. Because two damage I don't think is going to do, do us any good. He might be crazy, but there's no time for second guessing. All that he is comes into focus. His consciousness swims through every fiber. Then he falls and as his heart goes still, the staff shatters. A shard will be found amongst the debris, its pale glow comforting to those who remember him. Hmm. Ah, oh, fudge. It adds to potency. Um. <laughs> uh. He became equipment. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, fudge. Okay. I'm gonna give it to Udenbear. Nope. Nope. I'm not gonna give it to Udenbear. Helps special abilities. So, yeah, but he's uh he's got the fire cone of fire. So, I guess I'm gonna give it to Puppergast in hopes that the poison helps. Hope that's uh that's correct. It would help cone of fire, yeah. But the potency goes up 0.7, but his stunt chance drops by, like, what? Six. Would it help Pupper Gast at all? I think poison is set damage, but it could be wrong. Oh. I'm going to give it to Pupper Gast. Oh, okay, here we go. They don't have anything that uses potency, right? Is there a loud hum? Yeah, it's water running on my end, maybe. Ah, okay. Um, so it's, it's useless to give it to the warriors, right? So give it to Pupper Gast. I'm gonna give it to Pupper Gast. Looking to you guys. Last chance, Pupper Gast. Nothing in that room should be making a hum. <laughs> 
Let's do this. I say give it to a hero. Uh. Okay. Pepper Gast. Pepper Gast gets it. Go Pepper Gast. Alright, Puppergast is in Silk Step. Should I Quelling Moss or should I just shoot? Should just shoot. Uh. Cone of fire burning bright, right across the sky. Oh, no, your friends are all in the way. Um. Where's his Silk Step? Why can't he silk step? Oh no. Oh no. Uh. Let's go here. Wait. Oh, that's JD Lady. No, JD Lady doesn't want to go anywhere. She just wants to kill this guy. Crunch. And. Mm. Shoot him from the waist up. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll just just go from here. One armor shredded, five blocked. Slurm! Yeah! Roller! Wait, no, roller. Where you at, roller? Roller with the big mace. <laughs> Mace to the face. Woo, 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 woo. Well, that worked out uh, a lot better. Uh, last week was almost a TPK, and this week, no one died. Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Rowan. What is it What is it with the wizards, huh? One went off to become a seer off in the forest. Woo-hoo. All right. JD Passive JD has plus one range with all attacks and abilities. <laughs> Viciousness. JD Lady's melee attacks deal one da extra damage. Sentinel replaces Guardian. The warrior leaps up to two tiles in order to intercept a foe who passes nearby, performing a reaction strike. Whoa. Okay. One of the reasons I particularly like this game is that you have to constantly rethink your tactics. <laughs> Walling up will be the key to one battle and suicide in another. This is a full on charge one, indeed. Okay, Sentinel, or Upgrade Paladin. Enter Guardian at the end of every turn, even if you ended your turn by attacking. Oh, oh, wow. Uh, what do you think, JD? Is JD out there? Have we see. Yeah, JD's out there. We saw her, her 26 months. Oh, love you, JD. Uh, I like the paladin. I think your paladin in this is 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 awesome. All right. Besides the hydrania, what? Hydrania. Gotta smite them all. <laughs> all right. Ooh, a bronze horn hunter. All right. Uden bear. Passive. Uden has two armor and one warding. Ooh, endurance. Repost. Uden will counterattack after a successful lead block or dodge. Ooh, rogue. Passive. Every time Uden kills an enemy, he enters gray plane for free. Hmm. All right, hold on. Mm. All right, and wisdom. Wisdom. Plus 10 retirement age, plus 15 charisma. Hmm. Particularly for a heavy hitter like her, 
basically a free attack each turn as long as they keep closing and she <laughs> likely to keep them cleared out some more can close yeah I, I'm looking at that rogue too yep uh, particularly like after this one and the, the whole uh... whoa what happened oh shoo the mighty Ulstrix finally crumpled before us. His reeking corpse twitched still. It was over. Some would say we saved the world. And we did save the ember of it. We cupped, we cupped this red coal of life, held it away from the water, carried, in it, carried it into the next morning. Through wreckage, loss, and destruction it would take time for the water to go down the memories to lose their bite to rebuild to heal and maybe to live new lives someday but our story was just one of many snurf 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 the end. Oh. Now, let's hope and pray. I was going to say, let's watch it so it doesn't crash. I did a final battle last night and Rogue was key. It was a really complicated battle where you have to drive back hordes and so forth. The hunter with Rogue kept sniping the weak but fast units staying constantly in grain plane because of that. Amazing stuff. Woo! Round of applause. I don't know if, uh, is 125 a, a good, a good number? Is that, we did not zero undos. Previous years of peace, final years of peace, 108 years. Okay, so off too early. You'll get some epilogue vignettes. Okay, so... Click the end, and I'll let it. I'll let it roll. This is where it crashed last time, I think. Okay. I dig it. Oh shit! I'm not reading them. The first harvest from the fields around Lin Lichen Path Windmill was a little off. The stalks wouldn't grow straight, but twisted along the ground. Oh, God damn it. Dake got up to see the sun rise every morning. Wouldn't you rather sleep in? Pa! To take a single one of those, these days for granted? <laughs> Dig this jam. No, that's where he got his eye grump. 125 is great. Oh, sweet. The corrupted Gorkin beasts. Hey, it's me. <laughs> On his more civilized days, Flavius would drop into town for gossip and tool repairs. But on the whole, he felt clear-headed and better in the wild. Oh, remember those those young punks? Wow, long ago. Citizen. <laughs> Sorry, my humming is a little scratchy. Flavius gathered as many of the company's stories as he could and listed JD to illustrate them. That's not terrible, I mean, not like I'm surprised or anything. Finally, an end to the madness. Hey, I'm bored. Wanna go hunt something? <laughs> I can't do the voices and read this script fast enough, sorry. I'm going to have to learn to uh, get a mandolin. 
Anasarada showed up one day as the new goddess of tick bites. I know what to. Uh, I know what you want to do, to ask. Don't. How did? Just don't. <laughs> Sail developed a passion for restoring ruined sites. She felt the heft of history in the stones in a way that books could not quite match. One story ends. Jady Lady Flavius. Is that it? Is that it? Now I click. Yep. Ah. These heroes will be added to your legacy. Flavius Citizen Roller Uden Jady Lady Dank Bear Rowan Baron the Swift. Hey, hey. woo! And Aretha Franklin Sharp Rock. All right. Ain't no potty like a pupper potty because a pupper potty don't stop. Or don't bite. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, pupper gassed. Okay, toggle off anybody you don't want, you don't have an attachment to. Oh. Uh, I don't know what that means. I overloaded my legacy and now I'm wondering who some of these guys even were. Oh. I mean, I mean, I guess I could get rid of Aretha Sharp Rock. Uh, and Ro Baron Sweft, they, uh, you know, they, they deserve a second chance. Carry on to future stories, keep them all. But if you look at somebody and ask, who was that? Then dump them. Ah. Yeah, uh, I think I'll get rid of Aretha, because I can't pronounce their name, and they really didn't get to do much. Uh, Rowan Baron, hmm, feel free to keep them all if you want, just saying that I ended up with people I don't even know in mine, and they're just kind of perma parked now got it I can dump them later so right oh no you said they're perma parked and so they will stay forever and ever okay so I'll get rid of you I want to see what happens with dank bear and I think I'm gonna get rid of uh, row baron too because, I mean, they were a hero, but now they're a staff, so uh, they're a piece of jewelry, or a piece of staff, or whatever. So, there. You can move them legs if you want. It is kind of hidden, though, and I only just found it the other day. Ah. No, I'll just I'll get rid of those. I'll keep all of these, and done. Promote Legacy Hero. Okay, plus zero extra promotions from remaining legacy points. Ten legacy points per promotion. Ended campaign with six. <laughs> All right, I don't have the points. He was hero adjacent. He meant well. Oh, man. Okay, so... Uh, choose one hero to promote. The selected hero will move to the next legacy tier and their new something history and abilities will go with them. The higher the hero's legacy tier, the more abilities that hero will come into a game with. Oh. Mm -hmm. But I don't have the points, right? That's weird. Uh... I can't promote Dank Bear. Oh, one. Gotcha. Well. All right. I think we need to promote. Uh, we need to promote Pupper Gast because I mean, Pupper Gast. They were they were the last hero standing in the in the pre Chronoverse timeline. Uh, deception that we created that was caused by the great crashing. Um, okay, so Flavius, Puppergast, promote. 
Elemental's weapons unlocked in Legacy. The elemental weapons you discover this game have been unlocked in your Legacy and will now be available to craft in all future games. Bow, wow, wow. Okay. Last one standing the first time. Heck yeah. All right. Let's... Trying to get, I can tell all the sugar. Ah, dang it, stupid left paw. Um, yeah, um, so. <laughs> I, no, I won't tell that story. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I will be posting this week, I will be posting some amazingly retro photos from the 70s. Of, of me and my little brother. Uh, so. Now whenever you recruit a new hero in game, you can select one of the ones in your legacy. Oh, neat. Oh, yeah, it's really baby GB. I am maybe eight years old. My hair's blonde. So blonde. It's not even funny. And it's the 70s, so it's all like shaggy and stuff. It, it's hilarious. And I'm there with my little brother. Oh, love it. Yeah, my, my brother, uh, the 70s, mythical time of weird lapels and good music. <laughs> Um, my brother, he, uh, he went and braved the insanity of my mother and, uh, grabbed a bunch of his toys. Turns up the P-Funk. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Love it. Um, now I'm going to end up listening to Parliament for, like, a week. You do realize. You, you, you can't, you can't bring forth the P-Funk without thinking, oh, yeah. I gotta get some of that old funk going. All right. Anyway, focus. Um, yeah, my uh, uh, he braved my uh, my crazy mother and grabbed a bunch of his. Uh, you can thank me later. <laughs> I will via tweet. Uh, uh, face the crazy mother, and it was funny because I talked to him and he said he said I should not have watched Stranger Things before I went <laughs> went to see our crazy mom. Because, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm not going to diss mom. All right, let's, uh, what, what time are we at? Yeah, we still got time. Let's go. Uh, you got the snarfles. Um, did I take my allergy meds? I think I did. All right. So, we just hit play. I'm going to hit play. A new story. Age of Ulstrix. Oh, we played that. The Enduring War. A centuries-old war resurfaces, bringing with it questions of humanity, identity, and the price of ambition. A five-chapter story with Morgothi as the main threat. Monarchs under the mountain. Discontent, dashed dreams, destruction, and death. Metal! Uh, an underground cult thrives, lining its nest with disasters. If opposed, the ancient tyrannical powers behind it will bring battle to, to the life-loving, fierce, and free before perhaps making them an offer a five chapter story with the deepest at the main. Oh, what do we got going on? <laughs> Jady Lady also claps mug, but gently, because this one's handsome, or handmade. Ah. Eluna and the Moth is amazing, my favorite yet. It's a really hard one, though. Ah. It's the one you just finished. Alright. Eluna and the Moth. One hero has a fencing sword and abilities that let her attack twice, move between them, and essentially teleport once per battle. Oh, man. Luna the Moth. 
an old book and a young uh, and a young argument argument okay lead two siblings into the wilderness amid the bones of a mythic civilization they'll embark on a moonstruck journey through tragedy of time encountering a mysterious wastrel in the woods and hearing and bearing witness to the rotten bearing witness to the rise of a luminous queen five chapter campaign with thrillix as the main threat all bones of summer oh i just i dig the name of this one the main enemy moved after being hit each time so she just chased after the bad guys pirouetting and striking over and over oh my god that's that's like fighting all sips in in battle brothers oh you hit them and they all go Wah! and then they're like mirror images of the same one oh my gosh drove the enemy where she had to be but died but died buried under dozens literally foes but she saved the world doing it it's awesome all the bones of summer bones were buried here bones were burned in the ground where their their beds all lie all become fossils for fantasy all become stories once true they count on a dream as the they spiral towards sleep Fire follows fire until every color is ash. Five chapter story with Drauven is the main threat. Three chapters. Relatively short campaign with just three chapters. Promote one legacy hero if you win. Only procedural events, no overarching villain story. Five chapters. Legacy, three chapters. A three chapter procedural campaign starting with three legacy heroes. Difficulty scales with the legacy tier. Legacy five. Okay, same thing, but okay. And then multiplayer. Ooh. All right. Uh. So I like all the bones of summer. And Citizen likes Luna and the Moth. Anybody else got a got a uh... <laughs> bearing wetness to the mugs? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't dog my dyslexia, you son of a beaver. Um, <laughs> All right, uh, I'm blushing. Um. Well, let's see. We got what? We got it like. An hour? We got an hour. Uh, well, Citizen, you like the Aluna and the Moth. Is that is that where we should go? I mean, but you've just played it, so is that like boring? Is there any of these you haven't played yet? There's a good way to do it. Ah, it's the only one you haven't won yet. Oh my god, so you've played them all. Okay, all right. Ugh. All right. But I imagine you'll be playing during the week when I am not, and it'll take me weeks to do that, so you will probably finish it beforehand. It's really hard but fun. If you're wanting a gentler step up from age, you might try the Enduring War. Okay. All right, let's just do them in order then. The Enduring War. Five chapter story with Mogathe as the main threat. Main enemy, difficulty adventurer, standard difficulty, customized difficulty, carved in stone, all progress is auto saved and Game over is final. No retries, no reloads. Not recommended. Okay. Additional mods. Map seed. Next. Is better than the title suggests, but they're all good choices. And everybody should definitely play Aluna and the Moth at some point. Alright. That'll be the next one. Because <laughs> there's still no definitive date for Darkest Dungeon 2 yet. Sons of Beavers. We're halfway through the year. Alright, uh...
Next. I think I... Future mystic, future hunter. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Okay. DD2 is for 2020. Ah! <laughs> oh. They they had said second second quarter uh 2021, but I bet you're right. I bet you since I, since I gave up checking every week, they probably have been like, eh, we'll just push it back another year. Sons of beavers. Okay. Carved in stone. Okay. Future warrior, future hunter, future mystic. Sounds good. Alright. Um, I mean, I, I like the even party, so I think that should be fine. So what is it? A hot-headed snark. A poetical greed wagon. <laughs> a cowardly greed wagon. Hmm. It's probably story specific if you can and uh, okay all right let's just start and we'll we'll uh, fix these characters up as we go one thousand years earlier meh, 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 wizard Feedy, the initial limbs were a success and I am confident the premise is sound. The thought of that sickness taking you for uh, of that sickness taking you first is too much to bear. We can ride this out together. We can endure. Strona, you can't be serious. Click. There were things they told of uh, us of. These things without souls that walk in forgotten places, following orders from centuries ago. Don't linger in caves. Don't delve too deep. Could be Morth, Morgoth, more, more Thoggy, more Thoggy. I like Morgotha, Morgothy better. I'm gonna say Morgothy because my brain's gonna read it wrong anyway. <clears throat> Could be more gothy down there. I guess it's no weirder than any other tale parents come up with. Huh. Nightjaw. Nightjaw? Nightjaw. Okay. Was always our go-to threat growing up. Now that, now that was a monster. And things in the dark can be left unseen. Crark. Until suddenly, they can't. Oh, bringing love it. Oh, dude. What? We run. Dump, dump, crash. <laughs> wait, wait. You can't pick a legacy hero for one of these. I thought you can start with a legacy hero. Hmm. It's probably story specific. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. More Gothis. That's right. Crash, thump, thump. Huh? Well, that wasn't ominous at all. Hey, speaking of ominous. Crack. Crunch, crunch. Oh, pal, you're gonna regret starting those fires. Thimfar, grab what, uh, whatever you can, swing and come on! Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, oh, Saya's on it, is she? Rivalry. I think this'll work, friendship. Or... <laughs> she looks so gorgeous when she's urgent. Romance. Ooh, ooh. All right. So, what do you guys think? 
Rivalry, friendship, or romance? You guys, uh, tell me. They couldn't have more goth girls as the enemy because... <laughs> I just jump right on over to the other side. <laughs> you just download yourself. I mean, Pora does look pretty sexy with that pan. <laughs> Alright, what are you guys saying? Do you, what do we want to do? Do we want to do a romance here? Mm. Sorry, that's really awkward. Let's try this again. I... Alright. I'm saying... Let's just go for the romance. Uh, I'm putting it in. There it is. Them far. We gotta change these names. Right, Margothy. Let's see if we if we can get at them from multiple sides. Combat modifiers, stoicism, all heroes plus one, armor and warding. Spectic. Gears creak and knuckles crack. It's one grasping claw, reaches and strains. Samalir. Hissing tubes and gulping pump. It's It teeters forward on spindly legs, trailing virulent vapors. Ooh, virulent vapors. Oh my. Okay, kill all enemies. We don't know where they are. Where are you all enemies? Oh, oh fudge. We're we're all we're all over the place here. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Who we on? All right. Let's change these guys up, because they're going to make me crazy. Uh, we can't change their characters in the middle of a battle, can we? Mm, okay, let's uh, let's just go for it. Let's uh, gather up. Oh. Are we supposed to put out fires? It just says kill the enemies. It doesn't say anything about the fires. Uh, and we didn't see anyone in there before. So... Wait, so who's, who's what? Don't need to put out the fires. Is she the wizard? Who's the wizard? I don't know who's who. Hmm. Alright. I think you're done. Wait. Done wait. Done wait. All right. I don't have any ranged attack. Mystic. Mystic. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't get to him, right? Yeah. Well, let's... Let's move up here. And we'll reform our battle line. Oh, nobody's trained yet. Okay, well, that's where you'll stay. And, uh... Let's go with... Saya to here. And shoot. Oh, she can't shoot. Oh, man. Oh, man, they're total noobs. They're in trouble. There's a whole lot of trouble here with the noobs. Alright, and then...
Oh, yes. No. Oh, blocked. All right. Okay. Whew. All right. And take this pitchfork. Take. Wait. Take this pitchfork. Oh, and she can shoot. All right. Blocked. <laughs> hey, you get away. Ah, zero damage. Woo. All right. All right, punk. Lover's vengeance plus one. <laughs> I wrapped my wrist too tight. Ah. Oh. Lover's vengeance is <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, so I think it's time we just go beat this guy. Let's go like stump him with a frying pan, Caddy Bree style, and just shoot him from here. Lover's vengeance. Victory! <laughs> Femfar is now a green hone warrior. Oh no, we gotta choose new stuff. Oh, uh, okay. I do have the I do have the hard stop. Or as hard as stop as this game can give you today. No, cancel. Go. And I will I know you guys watch uh, really well for me, but I'm gonna put a Put an alarm in, just in case. Uh, why won't it? Oh, there. That's because I gotta hit the thing. PM save. And okay. Okay. Sentinel. Repl active replaces guardian the warrior leaps up to two tiles in order to intercept a foe who passes nearby performing a reaction strike zealous leap active every other turn as a swift action thumbfire makes a daring leap up to three spaces away Ha -ha! or battle dance all right melee attacks only cost thumbfire one action all right it scales up as their relationship deepens. Ooh, nice. Uh, I am not to be trusted with matters of temporal exactitude. A vengeance of lovers marks a death. Uh, sauce fire! Hey, Puppergast. Big heroes, man. Big heroes. That, uh... We closed that book and we've moved on to the next book. We've got noob heroes, so we'll be naming them and stuff here in a minute. Sauce fire, sauce fire, sauce fire! Alright. And you're lurking. Alright, it's all good, but appreciate it. Okay, so. Aren't you ding ding right now? <laughs> uh, I. Sauce fire, are you still on Nexus? Or are you d and d something else? Anyway, inquiring beards want to know. Uh, so, our warrior. Zealous Leap, Battle Dance, or Sentinel. Every other turn, as a swift action, Thimfar makes a daring leap of up to three spaces away. Uh, dude, I, I really want... I kind of want to play with that, but... I do battle dance so he can effectively if he's standing there he can make two attacks in a round these are all good choices <laughs> hmm apparently not nah it's all good all good all in fun um well it's nobody's character yet 
So, whew, I de am I right on the battle dance thing? So if they're already standing in someone's face, they can go chink, chink, and attack twice. I have no other experience, but I loved Crater. <laughs> it was hard to get to use, but yes, that's how Battle Dance works. Oh, I don't want, I want to. Was Resauce on Nexus? Ah. Oh, need coffee. Mm. I'm going to try this Zealous Leap. I'm going to see how that works. Because I really think that's pretty cool. is now a greenhorn hunter. Piercing shots have one pierce. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds really good. Ooh, or physical attacks apply poison. Oh, I really did like that one. Ember arrows, passive. When standing by a blaze, see his ranged attacks have z plus zero damage, plus one shred, and start fires. Fire can't spread onto her. Ooh. The, the only time I used it was in the boss battle. I hucked it, and that's what saved Puppergast at the end, was that the bad guy was taking that extra poison damage. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Uh. I don't like the ember arrows. And the quelling moss, I mean, it it you might as well have piercing shots, right? Cuz they they have one pierce. Okay, so it is a thing where you might want to give this character a torch or some character a torch just to light fires so they can use, so they can start it. So they're like uh, Pyro. They need some fire to use their fire. They can control the fire they can't create. Yeah. Yeah. A torch and crossbow is a great combo for ambo arrows. Yeah. I'm. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I let's go with the piercing shots and see what happens. Pora Elder is now a greenhorn mystic. Open mind. I'm reading him backwards this time. Open mind. Passive. Pora can infuse with one additional target. Okay. Compulsion. Briefly interf in interfuses with an enemy and forces it to move where she pleases. I love that one. But what's indignance? This is new. Pora's presence, presence is charged against her foes, dealing one true damage to hostile creatures who enter adjacency with her for any reason. <gasps> I hate. I hate. I hate so bad y'all die. <laughs> All right. On their attacks, that is, but it's more micromanaging. Part of my final battle in Illumina the Moth was powered up indignance. It spreads to two spaces and gives two damage. Watching them grind themselves away as they approach was delightful. Nice. Alright, let's go. I love the aura of hate. The bear strength ring. Bonus damage. Two physical attacks. Okay. Uh, yep. Let's give that the Thimfar. Bear strength ring. All right. So first order of business, we break these things down and hack up their parts. Second order, though, we can't very well go back to gossiping at the market after this. Not when we're apparently so darn good at it. 
Poor is right. We have to rise to meet this. And we do make a fantastic duo. <laughs> I'm going to use the hero voice for this warrior again. Sorry, Roller. I'm reusing your voice, but I'm going to make it even more cheesy. Hmm. Tr tr trio. Trio. We'll hunt the... We'll be <laughs> <laughs> she has the hero voice too. <laughs> we'll hunt them. We'll find them. We'll dig these splinters out of the world. We'll need a company name. Hmm. The sum of our parts. It's it's called branding. It's basic. Trust me. We need one. I was thinking the apes, the apes of legend. No. <laughs> what the? Oh, my brain hurts. <sighs> the omen of pollen. Anagroth's ghosts? Oh. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> Look at it. it hate, but rather an aura of power. I, I only say that because it had a skull and this, 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 this orb around it. Junkyard Scrappers. Sounds good. Poor is just getting back at them for leaving her out of, out of the romance. You two are apes. I'm the legend. <laughs> All right. Enter your own name. Oh, whew. junkyard scrappers. Junkyard scrappers. Sure, I, I don't have any better ideas. Here follow the tales of Junkyard Scrappers. Oh no! Oh no! Let's go back. Let's go back. Go back. Go back! Ah, uh, it's too late. Okay. Well, that's our name for now. Calamities. Your enemies improve their strategies after every fight. Cannot cancel. Shunk. Clear all hostile sites. And locate Marsh Mark Show Smithery. Junkyard scrappers. I I agree. If we, it needs a the. Is there a way to do here? We could change it, right? Let's see. Nope, can't. Okay, but we do need to change these guys. Let's. I I kind of dig this look. That's fine, but let's uh, let's give them some names, right? Let's change up their names. Customize. Name and details. All right, who's this gonna be? Ugh. So we can't obviously use our, our names names because then it'll get really weird and legacy strange. But we could use character names that we've used or characters from other stories and stuff. Um. Wait, what? Pardon? But you seem to have a small owl in your pocket. Um, uh, so, what do you think? Got to have a, a character or such from, so from some uh, game, a character you have played, possibly. Anyone? Excuse me. Mm.
And I, I, I like the looks of almost all of those. Post JD Lady for ideas. JD, JD be mystic this time. Too tall to be Gwen. Yeah, and, and also the mystic, Gwen the mystic. But we can change their height. Um, imagines Gwen with fireball. <laughs> She's got the hammer, the the right, the 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 hammer of thunderbolts or whatever. It can be Gwen. Will you make it? Hype Mystic. <laughs> Hype Mystic, alright. Hype Mystic. Am I spelling that right? Hype. Hype Mystic. Hype Mystic. Alright. Female, body type feminine, voice feminine. Attracted to uh, everyone because it's Gwen. Mystic with a Y? Why did I? Oh my goodness, I'm so. Why? Hype Mystic. Alright. Sonic Blade. Yeah. We'll we'll uh, we'll do the warrior the warrior dank bear was supposed to be hype not Gwen hype Gobo oh nice hype Mystic okay cool cool nice all right and then feminine attracted to anyone allow allow uh, maybe we'll take out the children thing romances rivalries. I think all is applicable. Yeah, in her Twitter bio, it says uh, something along those lines. Um, all right, there it is, Hype Mystic. <laughs> uh, and we'll do this. Let's change the colors. Let's give, uh, how do we get pink? How do we get pink? Where's pink? Pink, pink, pink. Let's start with reddish and see if we can make it pink. I don't know how to do colors. Is that pink? That's pretty pink. All right. Go red and turn north. <laughs> okay. Is that is that right? Is that pink? The weight wait, the hue slider on top. Drag H slider almost all the way to the right. Okay. And that's red orange. That's not pink. Okay. How do I get pink? This? Oh, it's too light. That's about the color of her hair right now, I think. H slider, which is currently all the way left. Drag it about 75 to the right. Okay, the H slider. H slider, which is currently all the way left. Up top, there's a slider marked H for hue. Drag it to the pink part. Oh, pink over here. Got it, got it. Ah, pink. There we go. Woo. All right. Hype Mystic. Boop, boop. 
and then so and then their primary color primary color uh, I have no idea what the primary color and secondary color would be but those are not right let's let's go white white and their secondary color uh, like our avatar goblin we could do that let's see let's go but we'll go back to that in a second uh, say white and let's go white and teal Yeah, woo! Okay, and her skin should be blue. Wrong hype goblin. <laughs> and then give her some blue skin. Is that about right? I think that's. Alright, the hype mystic. <laughs> All right, there's Hype Mystic. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. The Cowardly Green uh, Greed Wagon. Gear, combat, history, aspects. Aspects? Alive. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. All right, uh... Gear aspects. Oh yeah, but enduring in, in, enduring aspects. Alive. Ex farmer. Flirt. Uh, probably. Flirt. But that's Lucy, not Hype Goblin. Hmm. Young. Human. Mystic. Greenhorn. Mystic. Interviews. Young. Eh, flirt's fine. Let's go with flirt. Yeah, that's what I was kind of hoping to do. So there, I like that. And then... Uh, gear, abilities... No, that's all good. Okay. Uh, that's the hype mystic. And then... Saya. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Customize. Saya the Ranger. Um, hmm. Hmm. Talk of things that relate to their responses and stories. Okay. I'm resisting the chandelier jokes. <laughs> Too easy. Okay. Um, who else can be characters? Uh, a rangery type. Uh, well, hmm. I mean, Ranger, Barbarian's more of a thing, so if we want to do Gwen, any other characters from anything, from anywhere, uh, pop to mind. Uh, let's be, let's say, I mean, we could, we could make, we could make the Nexus crew here, kinda, uh, <laughs> all right all right let's let's do that uh, uh, tavern sparrow and female feminine body attracted to men and then we'll go ahead and since it's gonna be me and tavern sparrow we'll allow children um, 
that's pretty I mean this really is pretty pretty close uh, head and face uh, Uh, that is a pretty good. That's and then head shape. Probably a little more like so. There we go. No facial hair. That hairstyle is pretty good, and the hair color is pretty good. Well, let's go. Uh, No, cats are fighting. I can hear the cats fighting. Mm. Nope. Nope. Oh, definitely not. Uh, nope. 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 I think we were best up here. Yep, that's probably the best. All right. And we'll dodge facial hair. Um, <laughs> and colors. Hand color's fine. Hair color's about perfect. Primary color. Yeah. Yep. Those are pretty much her colors. Purple and green. Fine. Um, done. And then... Sell asleep, guardian, and customize. Gray beard, male, masculine, masculine, women, anyone, without children, head and face, face, that's perfect, face, uh, I do got like a pony nose, don't I? And I got a pointy nose. Let's try this one. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, eh, I don't have a tiny nose. I don't have a broken nose either. Hmm. Nah, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. Looks good to me. Okay. My head shape, face, hairstyle. 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 Uh, something like that. That's about right. Not good enough. Okay. And facial hair. Yep. There. And colors. Hair color. Uh, they don't have gray. How do I get gray? Gray here? Nope. Gray there. Ha! Ah, perfect. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. And primary color. Black, 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 number one. Secondary color. Uh, neon green. Woo! Woo! Yeah! And size. Blurp. Blurp. I can't go any further. Blurp. Okay. And, yep. Okay. And that's good for me. All right, and Mystic, Mystic, oh, right click, right click, uh, customize, size, whoop, 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 there, excuse me, mm. let's see. Customize the colors for the sister Mystic in a Luna game, and was so glad I did. It made her ever so much easier to keep track of on the battlefield. Nice. Uh, and then tavern 
and Sparrow. Uh, customize size. Okay, and this is not that short. Okay, and then face colors. Oh yeah, we said let's just let's purple it up a little more. Make it a little more purpley. A little more purpley. Okay, and let's. She doesn't like that olive drab. She likes green green. So. green green this a bit yeah like a foresty green yeah there we go there we go nice and what they did the one who worked with natural stuff got green and brown and the one who worked with human made stuff got blue and silver oh neat sweet Playing Battle Brothers, I gave all the people, <laughs> all the guys who, all the brothers who are always uh, willing to be in reserve, like they've gotten so wounded that they, they don't necessarily want to be in the front line all the time, they don't mind being in reserve, I gave them all gray beards so I could just pick them off the line and put them out, out of in reserve when I needed to. Okay. Go drop right off. And Kelly Green's myself. Yellow Green can just die up. I'm a big neon green fan. Just, you know, it's been that way. Okay. Uh, we're running out of time now. But eh, this was fun. We made some good characters. Okay. And we're going to make another one. Because there's a recruit opportunity. <laughs> They're pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Okay. Let's do this. New recruit, a romantic loner, Marek. Uh, we have five. Yes, of course we'll recruit them. Do 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 do. Are we really looking for fighters, or did you just want to, an exercise, uh, an excuse to hit the tavern? <laughs> Come on, you don't like the idea of an underling. Plus, I'd like some extra help starting conversations when you and the Hype Mystic are doing that awkward silence thing. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I love it. <laughs> the stars were beginning to come out by the time they got uh, back into Dim Town. <laughs> Dim Town? Okay. Character generation is key to any. <laughs> Good thing we got in when we did. Looks like most people are still out and about. Maybe we can knock out this errand sooner rather than later. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Wait, you're back already? You wiped them out that quickly? I don't know what voice I'll give this person, but... You didn't give up, did you? Pfft. What do you take us for? Good. That would have been distressing news. This guy's got a sword, man. Kick butt. I got a pitchfork. I don't want a pitchfork. Uh, dim Town is what happened when Lazy Town didn't shape up in time. <laughs> Actually, we're back because we're looking to expand the company. What about you? You look observant. <laughs> <laughs> My brain hurts. You look observant. <laughs> that was a Ron Burgundy moment. I read that before I realized I read it. <laughs> and you could probably fight with that thing in a pinch, right? I mean, it's better than a pitchfork. Um... Probably. Uh, let's see. I've thought about it sometimes when I'm out in the forest. And there's 
not a lot else keeping me here right now. It, it's the season when a young man has to figure out what to make of his life. Ba -ba. And this season has brought a lot of changes. Aww. Can't argue with you there. It would be good to have the help. We've learned a bit out in the wild so far. We can have someone get you up to speed. All right. Uh, oh, I love I love having two shooters. Ooh, so what do we need? I mean, I mean my my thinking is two warriors. Uh, just to form that wall. Look at the notches in that sword. That makes the engineer in me cringe. <laughs> Guess you can do a legacy yet. What the heck? Um. So, a second hunter or a second warrior. My tactics generally say that, you know, I'd, I'd rather... It does start with a sword, so let's make another warrior. Aha! Ho! Oh, have at you! But he's also half hunched over already. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. All the hunters. They get that crick in their back. Oh, oh it's too buried. For my left paw to grab out right now the bow um, now what do we do we gotta wait recruit prepared a greenhorn warrior Thundering challenge. Once per combat is a swift action. Um, uh, Marnik frightens the enemy, forcing them to spend their next turn running away. Ooh, neat. Uh, Backslam. A swift action. Every other turn, Mark knocks an enemy up to three tiles away, dealing one damage for each armor he has. Ooh. <laughs> Dang you, Marnik. Um, or Battle Dance. Battle Dance. Shattered on the first training dummy. <laughs> yeah, probably. Or it, or it shredded the, you know, got hooked and sawed through the training dummy that the, the, uh, the training master was like, whoa, 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 what the hell? Um... Swift action every other turn knocks an enemy up to three tiles away and deals one damage for each armor. That's kind of mm -hmm. cool. Once per combat, frightens the enemy, forcing them to spend their next turn running away. Whew. Ooh. Those are good choices. But we're, we're running out of time. Uh... What the hell did we give Greybeard? Do we give him the battle dance? No, we gave him the zealous leap. Okay. Alright. Let's give him uh, the back slam. Alright. And then who's Marnik going to be? Guardian and back slam. Uh, customize. Well, we haven't we haven't had Sonic yet, right? Sonic Blade! 
Male, masculine, masculine, attracted to women. Uh, don't allow children. Uh, romances. What do we think? Gotcha. And... Uh, I don't know about Sonic, so maybe since he's not here, we can change it later. We'll take out the romances. Any of that for Sonic and me either, so that's all right. Uh, we'll just leave it. We'll leave it like that until we can ask him. Head and face. I'm pretty good with that. Uh, kind of good with that. And no facial hair is fine. Let's go. Let's give you. Let's give you blonde hair. I don't know why I think Sonic has blonde hair. Ooh, that's a little. That's a little blonde. That's better. Okay, that's good. And purple and purple. Purple and purple. Sounds good. We can. Uh, I don't either. I don't either. Though I think I have actually seen him, and I think he has sandy, sandy blonde hair. So, uh, yep, that looks pretty good for Sonic. We'll ask him later if uh, he wants anything changed. And done. All right, let's get on an adventure real quick. Yeah, we have enough. We have enough time to go on an adventure here. Scout broadleaf forest or grassy timbers. And what? Are, what's our mission? We got to get here. Oh well, then yes, let's go here. Oh, scout. All right, Grassy Timbers has been revealed. Assault. The Grumwald Water Wheel. Plachow. Let's go. This is it? Grumwald Water Wheel? The Magarthia are around here somewhere. Keep your eyes peeled. They couldn't possibly spot me in my blaze green tunic. We'll fight soon enough, but first, knock knock. What? Who are you? What are you doing here? We're junkyard scrappers. <laughs> but never mind that. This is Grumwald Waterwield, isn't it? Home of the best brews this side of Dimtown. Your spirits have been called the Nectar of the Gods. Yeah, this is Grumwald Waterwheel. You had heard right about my spirits, but I ain't brewed nothing these past few weeks. But, but, but why? Thrice cursed more gothy scum is why. <laughs> Come on in and see for yourself. Oomph, that's putrid. Foul use of my fine, fine establishment. They got me brewing up this vile concoction for them. I bring them fresh batches every few days in the in the runes. Pour it right into their veins. If they have veins, that is. It does something wicked to them, this brew. Makes them faster and stronger. Why are you helping them? They... They have my husband. We'll get your husband back. They pour this liquid right into their veins. Wait, okay, so that, and then what's this 63%? I don't know, Tavern doesn't have a percent at all. We'll get your husband back. Oh, pour this liquid right in their veins. Well, let's go with Sonic Blade. It's right. You see see how they glow afterwards? Hmm. How do you feel about making a special batch? Oh, I see. What are you planning, Sonic Blade? That we mess with the formula. Meh, meh, meh. Are you sure about this? 
Yes, we're right here. Yes, we're right here. Okay, hello, I'm here with today's badge. Wow, that's ew. It, it's kind of how hummingbirds feed. It's totally gross. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, I picked the right color for this uh, mission. <laughs> that lady has a rough voice. I don't think I trust her brew if it's scraped her throat like that. Oh, goodbye. Uh, I'm fucked. Have a great day, buddy. Uh, ah, I'm stuck. Er, I'm, I'm stuck some more. Oh, fudge nuggets. How am I trapped? Oh, uh, trapped by bourbon. Bourbon has me. Um, <laughs> later, bud. I'll set up a board for you. Intimidation. All foes suffer two damage to start the mission. Yeah. A sommelier, a spectic, and a spectic. Okay. Oh, no, get back here. God dang it, we are catching that thing. Uh, Hype Goblin. Hype Goblin, you are going after that fox. Said and done. The sommelier will spray you with nasty wine. Oh, oops, I'm an idiot. Yep. Bree, bree. Caught you. Do I get to make a wish now? Replace the tier one leaf staff or legacy point. Well, I'll replace the tier one leaf staff. Wait. Replace with a tier one leaf staff. Yes. We'll take that. Hype Mystic! Woo! Ooh, nice. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Grants two temp health to the hero. Oh, yeah. The Sun Ward. I think it will be called... The cabbage crutch. <laughs> crutch. The cabbage crutch. Or the cabbage. The cabbage spade. Yes, it is the cabbage spade. There it is. Somalia Upgrade. Woo! The garbage leaf. <laughs> I like garbage leaf. That's good. Garbage leaf. Ah! Garbage leaf. Okay. We will claim the garbage leaf. Ooh, and we're right in the face of a big, bad, evil, nasty. Uh, I think that we will silk step to here. And then Greybeard will just run up here and stab this thing before it sprays us. Alright. Hype Mystic, do not get killed. Ooh, nice. Dodge. Ooh, not dodged. Alright. And Sonic just crush, kill, destroy. Oh, it dodged. Uh, what can you do? What can you do with the hay wagon? Mm, will the splinter blast get us? I think the splinter blast will get us. Plant wild grass. 
tendrils and grab, pinning them. Let's do that. Let's interfuse with the tree. And wild grasp this one. So it's pinned. Okay. And then while it's pinned, you shoot it. You shoot it dead. Good job, Tavern Sparrow. And then old GB gonna step up and slam. Poke! Okay. <clears throat> Strike with the Ice Shatterer, knocking a foe to another tile and dealing additional damage equal to the distance knocked back. Ooh. Victory! Okay. <clears throat> Replace or put in the empty spot. Oh, is it one-handed? Place or put it in my empty spot. What? Okay, I don't know how... Alright, I'll put it in the empty slot for now. Hammer time. Nobody needs a pitchfork. Okay, yeah, that's true. Ice Shatterer. I'm gonna put it down as the. It will be. The Bong. Bong Hammer. <laughs> Alternate equipment. Ah, gotcha. Okay. It's the bong hammer. Ooh, the fox quartz pros. Passive armor. Um. I think... Ah, uh, should I just get? Should I give this to the hype mystic so she has something resembling armor? Yeah, I think so. I'm just gonna do it. Since my last uh, mystic uh, got seriously trounced, that's the last of them. You can come out now, Gwen. A little more. It was incredible. <laughs> you were amazing. But Melvir, where where is he? Look over there. Quincy, is that you? We have the same voice. <laughs> Melvir, you came. Of course I did. I couldn't have done it without these folks. I can never repay you, but you, you'll never want for something to fine to drink. Oh yeah. Oh no. I don't know. I don't want it. I, that, no, that's not good. I don't want those. Cancel. Um, your enemies improve their strategies after every fight. A new card is added to the Morgothi deck. The deck is more dangerous now. I cannot cancel it. The Watchman. Oh, I gotta go. Alright. <laughs> they bonded over the fact they sounded, both sounded like Walter Brennan. 
You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's my old man voice. Um. All right. Whew. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, guys. Uh. Yep. Uh, I see that it is time. My alarm did not go off. Did anyone hear an alarm? I did not hear an alarm. Wow. Hey, people. People liked my tweet about playing this game. Well. All right, guys. Uh, as you know, I love you all. Oh, that's hard to do with the broken thumb. Um. No. Ah. Uh, now it's time to say goodbye to GB and all his friends. I hope that you'll come back next week to this locality. To have a heap and help of our tap water mead. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I should get my my real brace for it this week, so that'll be awesome. And thank you all, guys, for for the great hangout. Uh, come by over at Lantern Noir on Tuesday, and we'll be talking some kind of gaming D and D stuff uh, about five ish on Lantern Noir Twitch TV. Oh, and if you're catching these on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe button. You know. Just mash that button, just like that. Then you'll never miss any of my crazy antics. Woohoo, woohoo! Bye, all. Ugh, broken paw. Bye.